It's so many great points there. Fox definitely has an easier time in this in this matchup. Yeah. And you're right. A lot of Falcos are straying away from their main. And uh, I, I can't really blame them. There are a lot of maps that this seems impossible on. But any of the smaller maps, I think Falco stands a good chance. As you mentioned, the lasers are a great tool. Jigglypuff's strongest area in the game, of course, is drifting side to side in the air. And if you can shut her down in the air, time your back airs or, or up tilts against her, you, you stand a good chance. Yeah. Uh, like you said, auto cancel back air is such a powerful tool in this matchup. And it, coupled with a strong laser game, it can be very tough for Puff to get in. But Puff has, I think, the best dr aerial drift in the game. Oh, by far. So by it's far. definitely a test of patience and control for Falco. Yeah, and there was a lot of percents that are really bad for Falco when fighting Jigs. Once Jigs leaves 100-ish 100, 100 percent, there's no real way to kill her without a raw setup. Yeah, there's no, like, combo. There's no, like, say, sneak down throw into aerial or anything like that. It's, like, poke and poke until you get, like, a strong back air. Yeah, maybe you get him up to 150 into a weak back air. Yeah. Maybe you just rising back air here. Yeah, and, you know, at this percent, this is where um, it's probably going to be tough to get a kill. Well, he got a trade there. It looked like he did back air. Yeah, that trade was really favorable. Usually, Jigs' up air wins a lot of contests. Yeah. It's funny because Jigs' up air is one of like the craziest hitboxes in the game. She, yeah, it's her most disjointed hitbox for sure. So reverse fair, yeah, that'll be easy kill. You cannot up be that close to the ledge against Puff. Or against most characters in that case. So uh, he had the tech chase. It looks like he wasn't confident going for rest though. Oh, just barely missing that fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, going for down air. Um, I think he'll live, but yeah, probably meant to dodge. go for fair. It doesn't really matter, right? You just yeah. <laughs> spin the stick on Falco when he's off stage, and he really can't. Yeah, anything but up air, at least. Yeah. <laughs> and I definitely misspoke earlier. I How could I forget about Jigs' back air? This move yeah. is just so disjointed. Oh, by the way, back air. <laughs> yeah, we just haven't seen her throw it out a lot. And as I say, he, he picks his zoning tool. Yeah. I definitely think back air is the type of move, uh, like a back air wall is so hard for a character like Falco to beat. Because if if he's, oh, what nice. What a read. Yeah. But yep. if, if Falco is losing, then he has to approach Puff. And the, a back air wall makes it so tough for Falco. Yeah. And the skill with the back air wall is to, is to place him where you believe Falco is about to go. And there's very little risk for Jigs if she watches where she's landing. Yeah. And that's where her aerial drift comes into play there. So as Falco, you want to make sure that you can get a read on the drift, maybe catch her landing. No matter what, Jigs can't jump forever. Yeah, it seems like it, though. Yeah, just count the jumps, but. five. And especially her like fourth and fifth ones are so bad in terms of vertical height. Yeah, they are. That's way easier to hone in on her as she jumps more and more. But uh, so far, Dingo's really brought this back. I think he was down two stocks, but he okay. hasn't gotten hurt, really. Yeah, what he did was he fared Falco into the corner, saw the shield, and just went into roll position and just, he knows this setup. Yeah. Okay, going for down throw. Down throw is uh, an interesting option there. It's a very fast throw on Puff, so it can be hard to tech sometimes. So sometimes Falcons will go for like down throw, down tilt, or down throw up smash, stuff like that. Yeah, soon I think Jix is actually gonna bounce from it though. Okay. Yeah, probably. Really good positioning and- Oh, uh, that'll like be the game. Is match. <laughs> going for an unnecessary rest. And that was kind of a risky rest because if he missed it, then Falcon would have grabbed the lead. And he'd be would've sleeping off stage. Yeah. <laughs> But a solid game from Soap there. Um, yeah, he ended it with his back air on the platform that was so well-timed and positioned. Yeah, definitely. So Pokemon Stadium, this is a pretty classic counter pick against Puff, uh, even though it's uh, her home court, technically. She is a Pokemon. Right. She doesn't like the stage for one obvious reason, which is the low ceiling. She is the lightest top tier, so that means any vertical attack is going to send her up a lot faster, and she's going to die a lot earlier. Yeah, this is where you might see, like, shine into up B kills from Puff. And nice there. So he, uh, he reacted to Down where... Tilt. Nope. Yeah, I think down tilt would have killed. Yeah. Really good reaction on that platform. Yeah. And uh, he was confident that time with rest, so. It looks like Soap's skills are definitely in the department of getting those rests yeah. against Falco. Yeah, great back air there. Uh, he noticed Soap's shield was a little bit low, and Falco's back air with well space is a great poking tool. Yeah, great thing to point out, especially with Jigs' shield being one of her strong weaknesses. Yeah, it is. She's the only character in the game that will die if her shield breaks. Uh, and opting for this three-piece, um, four-piece. Oh, let's Five go. Five-piece swing combo. That's a full-course meal. Let's go. Yeah. And uh, that really turned the game. Well, maybe not turn the game around. Oh, that turned okay, the game Okay, so around. if you can reach, he should be able to reach in time, right? Yeah. 
I just don't want to see him go for down tilt. I want to say you can Omsa tech that. I was just thinking, is there an Omsa tech possibility? But Soap just went straight to the Yeah, I don't think he even corner. tried it. Yeah. Up, yeah, Wrath. Oh, but he... Wait, uh, he's in hit stun? He's out of there. Soap not too Oh, happy. I don't think he should have lasered. I think he could have went, uh, reached with down air. And start with an aerial chain, yeah. Yeah. He's going to get the reverse. Really well placed reverse down air. Yeah. Puff is still alive, though, but it'll be tricky. Really nice, well caught the drift. Yeah. It, forward smash is pretty good at catching Puff drifting back like that. Oh, it covers the entire edge. There's no way you can get around it. Yeah. A little bit uh, off there. Falco's roll is pretty big. Uh, second time he's done this, falling up air to up tilt. Really well positioned. I wonder if Soap is going to smash DI at the next. Yeah, I want to say you <laughs> back this, third die. This happens actually quite often at that weird percent where he just jumped at the wrong frame uh -huh, and then like grabbed. six or seven more frames elapsed before he mashed jump again. And he died for it. And especially with Falco, even if you do like a really late one, his recovery is not that great. His up B recovery is He great. falls like a rock, man. Yeah, one of the fastest fallers in the game. Uh, that backer won't quite do it, but I, I would say maybe like 120-ish is when we'll see that kill. Or right there off a of bad DI. Really good back air spamming. Yeah. Really like it when players know to pick a move and just keep on positioning it correctly, right? Yeah, and I think like in this specific match, the back air with Falco on Puff is what you want to do. It, yeah. Because you can space it to where Puff can't really do too much about it. Totally agree. Her out of shield game is pretty poor. Yeah, she doesn't really have a lot except shield grab or get hit. Yeah, maybe up smash her shield, but when you're so far away spacing those great back airs, yeah. it's going to be really hard. So abuse your tools, guys. Use back air against Jigs. And a uh, nice pressure swing there. It looked like Soap was kind of confused and didn't want to do any aerial out of shield there. It's just a little tough because even if you connect Shine at, on Jigs at this point, oh. And a, that was a great reaction to that to rest him. Oh, he wanted to go for a forward smash, it looked like. Yeah, I mean, a little bit better than dash deck. Is this bad? Uh, a little bit too far to rest. And Pound is such a tempting move to do with Puff, because it sends them in almost a perfect spot to connect with back, or at least get them off. But uh, good shield there by Falco. Yeah, the payoff is really high, but as you said, it's a little risky. Yeah. So, tied game now. And Soap's missed a couple rests so far. I wonder if that'll. Uh, you know, be in his mind, maybe think like, oh, I won't rest too much anymore or go for rest combos. Yeah, you can't let that confidence shake you up because they, they have been helping you get to where you are. Yeah, definitely. He's waiting in that right spot. Yeah, and y when you see Puff just waiting there, do not roll. It's such a panic thing, but do not roll. And it's so easy to just look at yourself on the floor. I'm in the corner. What do I do? Yeah. And at that moment, that's when you stop looking at Jigs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, barely missed the rest, and that'll be a kill. So, uh, pretty good set so far. Uh, yeah, tight game. Very even. And okay, yeah, you can land on the platform. It's hard to get uh, up the rest on this stage if you're uh, below that top platform. Yeah, Jigs. He, wow, he went for rest out of shield. A little cheeky. He's Is gonna that? take 60 damage for it? Jesus. Another he, one. He's. he's He's Another dead, one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He died from that rest out of shield. Unexpected, really. Yeah. I think it was a little bit of a poor DI as well. You could have taken those down airs a little differently. Yeah, especially that last down air where he got sent off. He could have DI'd the, the down air before that to not be in that position. Yeah, but reverse down air is going to change the way you need to DI it. Yeah. And nice reaction again, getting that rest to tie the game up. Uh -huh. Last tech situationing. Okay, he DI'd up throw. Looks like uh, Soap turned around by accident, too, so couldn't go for like a back air or anything. Jigs' shield is looking a little low. Yeah, and that's kind of where you just want to start floating above and let your shield uh, get yeah. back up. Skid up tech stops the pressure. Falco stuck in the corner. Yeah, now it looks like Dingo. Oh, that's it. Up the rest. Pop off. Yeah. Let's go. And it looked like that last stock, Dingo started playing a little bit more cautious, but. He was shook. He cornered himself. And yeah. I think that's the one thing. Falco, if you corner yourself in that matchup, 